Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Betsy from The Greetery, and I am so excited. We are in the middle of our countdown to our holiday release, and this is an exciting time because holiday crafting is my favorite, and this is our first ever holiday release here at The Greetery, and so we have some really fun things coming out. In today's video, I want to showcase a new little collection of products called Happy Hippie Van. And it allows you to create this really, really cute little treat box that looks like a vintage bus. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the products that are in this little collection and also how to assemble the van. So first of all, there is, of course, the main van, the main die. This is the Happy Hippie Van. You can see it's a really uh, pretty good sized die. There's a lot of pieces to it. Um, there is enough of everything so that you only have to run things through your machine once. Uh, let me just kind of go over all the different dies in this set. And I'll also put a graphic up on our blog and also on the product page for this die so that you can refer to it later. Uh, these are the windows for the side of the van. You can see there's two sets of those. So for both sides of the van, this is the back bumper. This is the front bumper. These are front and back windows. They're the same size as these side windows. And so um, if you just create a whole pile of them, they're intermix, you can intermix those. They're all the same size. Um, this is a little license plate, which is a really kind of a fun little detail. You can add one of the design team girls, um, I think it was Lori Willison, added a little heart to her license plate. And so that was just a super cute little touch. So you can kind of personalize that with something if you'd like. There are four tires here. This is a little hood ornament. These are headlight details and these are hubcap details. And then all of these other things here are built in embossing lines. And so that will help you position all of these bits and pieces. There's embossing lines for all of these pieces that need to be added. So that can kind of make it a lot easier to see what goes where. So that's the main die. There is also an additional little add-on die. This is called the Happy Hippie Van Detail Die, and it allows you to cut cardstock or pattern paper to embellish the sides, front, or back of your little van. If you'd like to go a different route, we have a little bit um, less expensive option. We want to give you options here at the Greetery. And so if you want to go this route, this is a little stencil, and this will allow you to sponge ink onto those um, parts of the van to give your van some color and detail. There is a stencil for the front, or excuse me, for the sides and the front detail and also the back. And I'll be showing you this stencil in my video today. I think the detail die is pretty self-explanatory. You just cut those pieces and add them onto the van once it's all assembled, or you can do it before you assemble it too. It's up to you, but that's pretty self-explanatory. So I will show you the stencil in today's video, just because I think there might be a few more questions possibly about that, although it's pretty easy as well. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see I have all of my pieces already cut. I cut my windows out of a light gray cardstock, as well as my hood ornament and my, um, headlight details and my bumpers, you can get creative and cut them out of just about whatever whatever your imagination comes up with. Uh, one of the design team girls did uh, some glitter cardstock, which was really cute. So just get creative and uh, come up, see what you can come up with. So we're going to start off, I have the main, there's really only two pieces for the actual uh, van itself. So it comes together pretty easily. So we're going to go ahead and add some color by sponging with the stencil and you can see here this rectangle piece lines up with the back door of the van and so we'll go ahead and just sponge that and then we have the side pieces of the van there are this should fit right on there nicely you can line it up with uh, there's a score line, there's some tabs along the bottom, and this bottom edge, you can see the tires are right here. They're kind of um, blocked out on the stencil so that you don't sponge in that area. And so just go ahead and line that up. Thank you. 
And then there's one more piece, and that is the front. This is the front of the van. The two front windows are here, the hood ornament and the headlights. And so this little arched piece right here looks like an M almost that will line up with that. And you can spend your color right to that area. So now before we get to assembling it, I'm going to go ahead and add all of my little details, all of the windows and the tires, and just go ahead and get those all in their places. You can see the score lines outline where the windows need to go, as well as the wheels and the hood ornament and the headlights. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll speed up the video uh, while I go ahead and do that. So all of our details are added except for our little bumpers and we'll add those later. So now we can go ahead and start assembling things. Before you do that though, I do have one little tip that I want to suggest that you do. Um, if you think your van is going to be opened and closed frequently, or if you have little hands that are going to be handling it, I'm going to suggest that you put a little bit of reinforcement here on that back window so that these hinges stay um, a little more secured and I would I'm just using a piece of clear tape and I'm just going to put that right across that seam from edge to edge it's not visible at all from the outside and it just helps to reinforce that um, portion of the of the van so now we can go ahead and start assembling and just um, fold everything on all of the score lines there's tabs here along the bottom by the wheels so go ahead and fold those. Also right here along the top, the roof edge, fold. Fold the side tabs on the back door. And these, you're going to want to make sure that you get a really nice crisp fold, especially up here at that corner. And you can take a scoring tool if you feel like you need a little bit of extra help to get that nice and flat up there at the top. Things will just fit together a little bit better that way. Give that a little pinch. And then this flap down here also gets folded towards the back side. And this is a little, it looks like a little hitch, but it also doubles as a way to pull the door open. So it's a little tab there, which is kind of cute. So then there is the front piece. This is actually the front of the van. And this section here is the bottom of the van. It goes down by the wheels. And so this tab will fold backwards and that's going to get attached to the roof of the van and these little side tabs fold those all back this main base section fold that back as well and then for this portion right here before we start assembling it will help you a little bit if you take some like a pen or a paintbrush or pencil and just kind of run that along this edge to give it a little bit of a curve because this front needs to curve along with this edge and so if you just use a pencil and kind of give that a little curve things will go to better go together a little bit easier for you now we're going to go ahead and put it together i'm using liquid glue this is my favorite liquid glue it's called scrappy glue and I use it all the time for things like these, little 3D treats and such. I, it just holds really, really well, and it dries nice and quickly. So now we're going to attach this front section to the main part of the van, and this tab gets tucked right under the curved part of the front of the van, and you'll wanna tuck it in so that there's a little bit of an overhang. So that curve is going to actually overhang, and the corners here 
are going to line up with the fold. So just like that, you can see there's just a tiny bit of overhang. Okay, and then these tabs, go ahead and put some adhesive on those as well. Might want to give that a little pinch and let it dry. And then these tabs just get lined up along this curve. You can squeeze it from the inside to get a nice tight fit. I'm going to squeeze that for a little bit and let that glue set. Alright, so then you can go ahead and add glue to these bottom tabs. There's two little tabs up in the front and a longer tab between the two wheels and then a tiny tab at the back. And then just go ahead and close that bottom up. Squeeze them to get that glue to set. These front tabs, too small to reach inside of there, so I like to just give this front corner, these two front corners, just a little pinch to secure that tab up in the front. Okay, so we're going to let that dry a little bit before we tuck that closed. In the meantime, we can go ahead and add our bumpers. So there's a front bumper. The front bumper is the longer one. There's a couple little score lines which you can probably pick out with your thumbnail and just kind of fold those on that score line. And then what I like to do is I like to just add some adhesive to those small little side tabs. And that goes on the front. Just give it a squeeze. I like to just put the adhesive on those side tabs and let it kind of call, kind of come away from the van and gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay, see if our back is nice and dry, we can tuck this closed. And then we can add our back bumper. And that fits just across that back door. And there it's all assembled and ready to go and you can decorate it however you'd like and make it really cute for Christmas, tie a tree on the top or maybe tie a surfboard on the top for summertime, just whatever you can come up with. Thanks for joining me everybody. This new die collection will be available for purchase from thegreetery.com beginning on October 4 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And we'll see you back on the blog. Thanks everybody.